Good news for drivers in Hamilton County who've been seeing a lot oh, of this these things. <laughs> lately. It's everywhere. <laughs> the three month long closure of a very busy street and intersection is finally coming to an end. I think some people were just gotten used to it though. Seriously, if you were to ask them. 146 and Allisonville Road reopened Sunday and as Fox 59 Scarlett O'Hara explains this morning, the day couldn't come soon enough for people who live literally nearby. On this stretch of 146th Street in Fishers, you don't have to stand out here very long before you start to see drivers getting frustrated or catch one speeding through a neighborhood to avoid the traffic. 90 days of bright orange cones, construction crews, and cars clogging up neighborhood streets trying to avoid them. This line for Harrison Backway, maybe 30, 40 car leaving. Not to mention the crawling traffic that lengthens everyday commute times for those living off 146th Street. Problem number three. See the way? You know this way? A lot of traffic here. It backs up a lot. I know the other day I think it tacked on like 10 to 15 minutes of uh, just extra time just sitting and like barely moving my car. Things may lighten up starting Sunday when Allisonville Road reopens with a new traffic pattern. The Hamilton County Highway Department says a temporary signal will go up during this phase of the $44 million project. We know it's been inconvenient. Any construction is inconvenient for people and there's quite a bit going on right now in the whole Noblesville area. So, you know, we appreciate the patience people have had. Um, just bear with us a bit, and when it's over, you'll like it. Officials are also reminding drivers to keep the safety of crews in mind after noticing many exceeding the 35 mile per hour speed limit. If they're speeding, they can't always uh, pay attention to little dips in the road or barrels or whatever, and they get distracted. And, and so we want to send that message that to please slow down. I know that this road actually could be a shortcut to get on the highway, so if people are, are frustrated and trying to take a shortcut and they're driving really quickly, that's definitely a little bit worrisome. When finished, the existing intersection will be a grade separated interchange expected to reduce congestion in the future. Highway Department officials say they hope to have the project fully finished by the middle of next year. Reporting in Fishers, Scarlett O'Hara, Fox 59 News.